quickly about city position and the proper way to sit. Obviously, standing is ideal, but if you're adapting to a standing workstation, you also want to manage it with the proper sitting posture so you don't get over fatigued and standing. So, sitting wise, when I talked about flexion, a lot of you sit there with your knees together and you end up doing this, right? That's not what you want. And a proper spinal position, when I said maintain the normal lumbar curve, low back curve, that's your curve. So if I were to stand up and I look at the way my spine is built, and I would squeeze my butt, rip the down, and then sit down, that's the way I want my spine to be. This is a good lordosis, lordotic position, spinal curve for me. My legs are spread, I can relax here and do work as needed. Now, there's also something that happens if you're overextending. Okay, this is also not okay. This is not okay because one, it shuts off my abdominal musculature. It shuts off my butt. Um, and it's just not overall, it's, it can get uncomfortable over time. So in this position, I'm loading, I'm, I'm basically providing compression on my disc. There's no shearing force going on. There's no torsion. There's no bending. There's no stresses on my spine when I'm actually having to do work during the day. I don't want that. I want to be lined up correctly. This creates more stress in the back. This creates more stress in the front, as well as compression back here. So I don't want that. So you want a nice, happy medium. If you don't really know where you are, so go ahead and roll your pelvis back and forward, and then find that middle area. And put your hands on your lap and see if that feels comfortable, driving those shoulder blades down and back. All right, so this is technically where I would want to sit. I go to stand up, my spine stays in the same position. If I get fatigued like this, I can elevate one leg just to provide some balance to my pelvis, set my pelvis basically. So go ahead and try that. Um, see you next time.